guys welcome to your reading today we're going to take a look and find out what is really in your person's heart for you so despite how they're acting in 3d we're going to dive in and find out what's going on inside okay all right keep in mind it's going to be general so uh pick a pile it's not resonating feel free to check another one or you could check out all three and there could be messages in all three so just use your intuition and take the messages that you're called to all right time stamps will be below if you guys are interested in personals i have all that below as well and we will dive in with pile one <laughs> Hi, Pio Len. Welcome to your reading. I'd uh, say let's take a look and find out what's really in your person's heart for you in this connection. Um, keep in mind, going to be general. So if the first couple cards come out and they are not resonating, feel free to check another pile. All right, let's go. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Followed by the Nine of Cups. Followed by the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay, well, it looks like there's an ending that took place here. Pretty painful one at that because your person's having a lot of anxiety here. Uh, when it comes to you, I feel like this person feels like you are possibly the one that got away here with the nine of cups. I mean, we see the two nines coming out for the very first two cards going to the 10. It's almost like this person just wishes the cycle would close out. You guys could get over whatever happened here. Um, and that you would just know that you are their wish fulfillment. They view you as the nine of cups. So I don't know if some of them told you that. And again, whatever this ending is, it looks pretty painful. So I don't know that that was ever expressed. Right. Um, Okay, well, let's keep going, and then I'm going to pull in that Ten of Swords. So Nine of Cups, let's rather that. <clears throat> Three of Cups. So there's a need to reconcile here with you. I feel like your person definitely wants to, okay? There is something. I mean, we see the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like there's a lot of overthinking this situation here. Um, and there's just a lot. There's definitely a need for healing here between the two of you. So Pile 1, I'm going to say, um, you know, if you've been wanting some reconciliation here, I think your person feels the same regardless of how they're showing in the 3d i mean this is this ending whatever this was has hurt them just as bad as it's hurt you um so again if this is not your pile and it's not resonating you know probably not your message today <laughs> okay um but yeah pretty specific here and i think that's what's happening here so there is a need for reconciliation because look i think both of you see each other as this nine of cups so i think it's mutual here i am gonna say i know we're reading on what's <laughs> what's really going on with your person in their heart space but um it's looking kind of mutual, okay? All right, Nine of Swords, what's book ending? <clears throat> wow, look at all the nines, guys. I'm just gonna say, you could be seeing 999. This is indicative of a, of an ending of a cycle, okay? It's coming to completion here. So again, if you've been in separation from this person, it's been a long time. They've literally just sat here in anxiety here the whole time, thinking about this ending, okay? So if you felt like you were the only one in this connection that's feeling the pain of this and, and the worry about what's going to happen, like if you guys are ever going to reconnect, your person's feeling that as well. Okay, so you're not alone. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long time coming for them. And I feel like for a lot of them, they've tried to push it down and tried to ignore it. But we see that the Ten of Swords is at the hidden energy. So really, they think about this quite a bit. Okay, and it's heavy on their heart, I am going to say. So Ten of Swords, let's just see what's what's going on with that. The devil. What in the world? Okay. Yeah, it's ten of swords, ten of cups. Okay. Well, ten of wands, justice. My gosh. Okay, pile one. Well, your person really wants to make amends here. They want to reconcile something here. They're obsessively thinking about this ending. Okay. Um, it's very heavy. I'm just going to say, if you, you, you wouldn't know who this is. I mean, clearly, uh, you were involved here. <laughs> okay. So again, if it's not your message, feel free to check another pile, but they feel like they lost out on their complete wish fulfillment here. Okay. So, uh, for a lot of you, you guys are in no contact, little to no contact. I'm going to say for a lot of you, you probably haven't talked to this person in a while. They're worried here. Okay. It's heavy on their heart because they feel like they've missed their, their 10 of cups. And it's a burden here with the 10 of wands. Okay. Justice. They know that they need to do something to balance this here. So regardless of how it went down between the two of you, your person heavily thinks about reconciling things here. Okay. It's, it's weighing heavy. There's a cycle closing out. So I'm going to say if you're in no contact, um, in your person's heart they know what's right here they know what needs to be done and i feel like that is definitely something that's going to be happening in the future we just have too many tens too many nines um so i, I am going to go ahead and call it i mean i don't give time frames but for sure this person whoever this is you, you haven't heard the last of them they can't let this go um and it's weighing pretty heavy okay all right nine of swords let's see yeah. The longer that this person sits with the need to reconcile with you, the 
the hurt that the ending has caused <clears throat> and them being away from your energy because again they're viewing you as the nine and ten of cups here so complete wish fulfillment emotionally all that right um it's going to cause some more anxiety so i do feel like your person feels like the time between you guys um is getting like the gap is getting longer right and so um it adds to the anxiety here because now they wonder if it's too late right like the longer the time passes the more they wait to do this um the bigger the fear gets right like it it could be just done um wow okay nine of cups the moon so yeah for a lot of you i feel like right now your person is trying to keep this under wraps they're trying to do the best they can i mean it could be coming over into the 3d like uh people could be noticing that they're a little i mean you know there's a lot of hidden fears and it ties me to this nine of swords uh, so and the ten of swords so it is that they feel like they may have lost you for good because for some of them you know they never they never expressed that you were you know their complete wish fulfillment here um and so that's weighing heavy as well because you are and so you know i think they're kind of beating themselves up if that's the case for them where they never actually got the chance to express it to you and things ended or you know for some of them there is that um okay ten of swords the magician i feel like your person's praying for another chance here they're trying to manifest a way around the pain that the ten of swords caused the both of you to fix this to get back on track here towards the nine of cups and i have a feeling i mean it is going to involve this person having to express emotions here i mean um the type of ending that i'm envisioning and i mean it may not for some of you yes it was pretty painful for others of you it may have been painful but maybe it wasn't like super bad i mean maybe you're still in some sort of contact with them but uh, regardless, your person is manifesting a way around this for reconciliation here. Okay. From the heart. I mean, from the heart space, whether they show it in the 3d or not, this person really thinks about this so much. They want another chance here. They want to make things right. I mean, it's just kind of that I'm going to pull in the magician. <laughs> See, tell us more. Oh, six of swords. Okay. They do want to move forward here. They want to move things forward with you. They want to reconcile in this person's heart space again. I mean, what they really desire deep down is to do this. So, you know, for everybody, it's going to be different of how your person is actually coming off in the 3d. Um, and we do see the moon. So this person may be really skilled at hiding emotions and feelings and what they're going through. But I'm just telling you when it comes to this, what they think about deep down is they want another chance here. Judgment at the bottom death. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it just backs up the read. They want to move things forward. Um, they want a new beginning here. They want a judgment call to end a cycle between the two of you guys to close out this chaos conflict for a lot of you. It was just differences and it was a back and forth thing. And it just like, I just heard the word like, uh, accumulated, you know what? I'm not even going to say it's that. Okay. It just kind of built up. And so for some of you, that's what led to the ending here. Um, yeah, there's a, a, there's a judgment for a death and a rebirth here. That's what they want. Okay. Um, the hanged man. Wow. Look at all these major arcanas, the hanged man, the wheel and the tower. Okay. Well, um, yeah, this person's manifesting from their heart actually this time. And that's why we have all the major arcana. So that just hit me here. Judgment, death, the hanged man, the wheel, the tower, page of wands. They are nine of swords. I am going to tell you they're worried here. They feel, I don't know. I feel like this person's gone through. They've had some epiphanies here. They've had a tower moment. I mean, this major arcana, something, this ending has literally hit them hard whether you guys see it or not and this is all they're thinking about in the heart space they need to make something right here with you guys they want to, they want to restart now i'm going to tell you with the page of wands and the nine of swords this person has a lot of anxiety about reaching out to you and trying to reconcile here with that three of cups so for a lot of them they are praying for the confidence to do this maybe for an opportunity to do this um maybe for some of you they're praying that you reach out to them first and make it a little easier i don't know whatever the ten of swords though was there is a need definitely from their heart space to fix this and move things forward with you okay and i feel like the universe is like showing them that they need to do this you know so they've like put it in their face they've really you know 
put the stuff out there. Like you're under judgment. Like you, you need to do something. So again, it's going to be different for everybody what this ending was, but for some of them, they got karma, you know? Um, okay. Three of cups, seven of cups. So there's confusion about how to reconcile. Again, they're, they're, they're thinking about this. They're fantasizing about this. They want to do this. There's a lot of fears though. Okay. There's just a lot of fears. Um, let's keep going. Nine of wands. And then we'll clarify some of these, but kind of just what I'm getting. Queen of Pentacles. I mean, for some of you, I feel like you kind of, um, you're acting like, even if this ending has bothered you and really affected you. And for some of you, you're definitely in that nine of swords too about this, you know? Um, for some of you though, you are kind of standing your ground and you're kind of acting like it's not bothering you in the 3d. Okay. So again, this person is confused about where you stand. If they do reach back out and try to reconcile this, would you even have it? Would it be good enough? Um, there's that for some of you. Um, the other is they're having anxiety here too, because they do see you as like long-term. I mean, they do put you on a pedestal here. They know that, you know, that this apology or reconciliation has been a long time coming. Okay. And they've kind of just kept it in the air. They've kept this air of confusion around this connection um so yeah you guys have been through a lot they understand that that they've taken a while here okay so it's that um yeah i think it's just adding to the anxiety that they're having too because again it goes back to the timing thing here where they feel like they may have waited too long okay um okay tell us more about seven of cups Oops. king of pentacles mm. six of wands and the empress they're trying to be strategic about this because they do want this to go the long term. Okay. If there was confusion about how this person felt about you in the past, they view you as a counterpart. Okay. And that's what I'm saying. The King of Pentacles to clarify that seven of cups, it's almost like they, they saw it now. They saw that you are the end goal. So if they, again, if they dropped the ball here or they kept you feeling like you were an option, this person now sees through it. So that's why I think they're so determined to make this amends with you and make something right here because maybe they went out there and tried dating or they tried to find somebody else and, and nobody matched like you did. So they're worried that too much time has possibly gone by. Possibly the ending was too rough. And so for some of you, you won't take them back, but they do see you as in goal. So it feels like with the seven of cups, they've made their decision for some of them, it has been, it's taken them a while. Um, the heart already knows what it wants here. It's the Empress, the Five of Cups. So there's a lot of disappointment here. The Sun and the Knight of Swords. So this person in the heart space, they really want to take action towards you, Pile One, I am going to say. Let's pull in the moon really quick, and then I think we'll wrap that up. Okay. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Yes, this person still has very deep emotions, very deep feelings for you. They want they want to make a romantic gesture, okay? Ace of Swords at the bottom with the Six of Swords. So for a lot of you, they do know that there's a truthful conversation that's going to be needed here. Um, possibly about hidden feelings, uh, secrets, something like that, okay? They're, they're trying to figure out the best approach. I am just going to tell you, and it's causing them anxiety, and I think this is why they've kind of sat here and waited for, for so long, because they don't know the right approach because there is going to be a conversation needed for a lot of you. So they do want to move it forward though. Yeah. Judgment is all back. Okay. Well, well, pile one, I feel like this is pretty specific. I feel like your person has a ton of feelings for you. They do view you as, as wish fulfillment here. Okay. And they are manifesting a second chance. So again, if this was your pile, um, you know, try to, try to keep the faith. I feel like your person's working through the confusion of how to reach out to you and make, make things right here. But in their heart space, I feel like this person knows that they're eventually going to do this. Okay. All right, pile one. I'm going to leave it here. Love to know if this resonated with you guys, uh, below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And if you're interested in diving deeper into your own situations, I have all the info for personals below. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye pile one. Hello to you. Welcome to your reading. Today we're going to take a look and find out what's really in your person's heart space for you. Okay. Keep in mind, going to be general. So if the first couple cards come out, they're not resonating. Feel free to check another pile. Okay. It may not be your message today. Um, all right, let's go. Okay. We have the two of pentacles, the empress, seven of cups. 
Okay, well, there's a decision here. Clearly, pile two. I'm just going to go ahead and say so. If your person doesn't have a decision that they're battling with right now, um, then this probably isn't going to be your pile. But clearly, they're seeing you as the empress. So there's a decision. Uh, again, I don't know why the decision is here, but there is a little bit of confusion here. So in the heart space, it's like they're viewing you as the empress uh, for a lot of you. I mean, it could be a decision between two. I, you know, let's keep going. The empress yeah okay but well, we have two threes out so i'm gonna say pile two this is kind of looking like it could be a third energy here where your person has to choose between you and this connection and it's weighing pretty heavy on their heart space right now okay um there is something about possible reconciliation here with you communication okay so that could be the issue as well if your person's silent maybe they're thinking about reaching out here um let me go ahead and pull <clears throat> what's read with the three of cups and the two of pentacles here queen of cups yeah Okay, well, <clears throat> it's almost like a, a decision between head over heart here, I'm getting. So your person really wants to follow their heart. There's a lot of love here that they've got, but we see that there's a choice, okay? It has something to do with you, um, possibly another third energy situation, person, whatever. Let's pull in the Seven of Cups really quick. <clears throat> I feel like this person's definitely in their, um, in their fantasies, like their head fantasizing about what it would look like to make this deci decision and choose you. Um, five of wands. Okay. Knight of swords, four of cups. It looks to be a decision, a very conflicting decision, by the way. So again, third party involvement could be the case. Uh, competition here could be what's stopping this. But there's something where this person wants to take action here from their heart. Because again, we see a ton of love. So it feels, it's giving me head over heart um, decision that they that they're weighing right now knight of swords in the four of cups four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so it does feel like they want to take action but they're not okay they're just sitting here trying to still figure things out um four of pentacles holding back ace of pentacles so it definitely could be that they already have something on their side or that this person is just not sure if they're ready to take things to the ace of pentacles level here with like commitment you know, full, full thing here. Um, I say this seven of cups, six of cups behind that. So it does feel, <laughs> I mean, definitely past person. So, you know, this person is not new, right? But I'm just getting, there's confusion over something from their past, choosing that or choosing you king of swords, two of swords. They feel blocked three of cups, five of swords. Okay. It does feel like there's a third energy that they would have to make a choice from. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that pile two, if this is not resonating, then feel free to check another pile. Okay. All right, let's keep going with the two of pentacles. <clears throat> Knight of wands. So it's a decision. Listen, this person not only has a ton of love for you, but are they ever highly attracted to you? I mean, you make them want to do like rash, make a rash decision. Okay. This person, you know, they could have been in and out because of a wishy-washy thing. But for a lot of you, I'm just getting if they do have something on their side where they're comfortable in and they would have to make a decision to leave that behind for you, you almost make them want to just up and go for it, okay? Because there's this magnetic pull to you that they can't stop thinking about, they can't get over. For some of you, if there's no third-party involvement, which, you know, doesn't have to be. I mean, and it could be just that they focused on work or they chose something else, a family situation, dynamic, a ego over you. I don't know. But um, then this person is coming off as they were wishy-washy. And so that could be the choice, right? Of like committing here um, to you. So I don't know. Let's see. The Empress. The Hierophant. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look, you know, I, <laughs> um, the universe is kind of doing it again to me. So there is, it's looking like it could be both ways here. The, the Empress, the choosing to actually fully commit to their Empress here. I mean, that would be what's going on in their heart space for you. So if this person was used to being single or the Knight of Wands, you know, they caught feelings and they view you as a counterpart here, somebody that they do feel a spiritual connection with. But again, there's a choice, right? So do they go for the love or do they choose their ego? For some of them, it's that. Now, if it is third party, then this is clearly, you know, there's a choice <laughs> to, to leave that and, and come towards you where they're really being drawn to, right? Um, so there's a decision. I mean, either way you look at it. Okay. Um, all right. Seven of Cups. Ten of Wands. 
I, it, you know, it's weighing really heavy on whoever this is. It's a burden for them to be in the state of confusion because they know what their heart feels for you. Um, so it's, it's really heavy. It's really heavy having to keep you confused about this. And it's also heavy for them that they are mentally and internally confused about this as well. Because again, head over heart, right? It's, um, it's a battle. It feels like right now with this person, 10 of wands, tell us more. <clears throat> the knight of pentacles ace of cups yeah three of pentacles okay well um this person has thought about making you an offer for a while okay have they acted on it i don't know for some of you probably not because of the two of pentacles here but the ace of cups is at the bottom okay so there's there's an off they want like a new start in love here the ace of cups is a new beginning in love there's there's all these feelings it, they're just, it just feels so heavy that this person is so slow to make any kind of decision here, though. Okay. Uh, behind the Ace of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm just saying for some of you, the Chariot and the Six of Swords. So, again, I'm going to read it both ways. <laughs> this is, um, you know, it's a burden for them not to be able to offer you and have this new beginning in Ace of Loves. If they have something, or Ace of Cups, why is it Ace of Loves? Weird. New beginning in love with this Ace of Cups if they have a third energy or a situation on their side. But it does look like they are highly considering the Chariot with the Six of Swords moving pretty quickly towards something here. So whether that be, it's not a third, third energy that they're dealing with, then this would be them, you know, letting go of that fear of commitment, that Knight of Wands behavior, the wishy-washy in and out to actually go for a new beginning in love and work together here with you, you know? So for a lot of them, I mean, it is fear of commitment for the others. It is something they would have to leave, right? Okay. Three of Cups. I love it when the universe does this and it's like, no, you're going to read the two messages. Okay. So we're going to give them to you. Um, for a lot of you, I am leaning. I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably like 85 to 15%, um, 85% of you guys dealing with third party stuff here. Okay. This is a divorce. This is sad. This is, it's just looking like that. And I mean, three of cups, five of cups, two of cups, the hermit. Okay. If this person is involved <clears throat> somewhere else, um, they're, they're really thinking, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to say this, the bottom of the deck here, when I pulled that five of cups is the two of cups with the three of swords. Okay. With the hermit and the hierophant. So either way, again, I can read it both ways, but this is somebody, if they're involved with somebody else, they're really considering leaving that. Okay. From their heart, their heart is telling them that it's time to go. Okay the hermit and the, the hierophant, which would be kind of pulling back from that connection, you know, and we can see here at the, at the hidden energy, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of stress about you in this connection. Okay. So, you know, I think that's kind of fueling them to, to kind of see what needs to happen here. I mean, it's not going to be easy. None of this ever is. Uh, it's always, there's always going to be a three of swords involved in an ending here, right? If there was ever love, which it does look like there was, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it's not, listen, I'm going to read it the other way too. So if you're not dealing with the third party or persons involved elsewhere, um, then yeah, this is honestly, it's just like, they feel that you're a soulmate clearly with the counterpart coming out here, the empress, the love, um, something may have happened, you know, again, maybe they were wishy-washy and they caused that three of swords here with this connection because they didn't want to commit. Then we have the hermit and the hierophant. So if this is your case and you're, you're aligning with that, then it's almost like this person's got some insight here because again, the confusion and the stress of not having this with you is is weighing heavily at the soul level okay so yeah they've done a lot of reflecting with that so again guys two clear messages take whichever one resonates here but can go both ways all right queen of cups yeah it's almost like this person needs to go ahead and admit that they they have these feelings for you for some of you they never did for others of you they do and, and this is them closing out a cycle with whatever they have i mean the the heart is pulling them towards you it's almost hard. It's just going to be hard to sit in this. You know, they're going to be, they're going to find themselves more in the 10 of wands and the three of swords if they stay in what they have and they don't follow what their heart is saying, right? It's saying to come to you, um, make a decision here. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to pull on a couple of these before we get out of here. Um, let's find out about that Two of Pentacles. Tell us more. <clears throat> Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Okay. I'm going to go again, you know, we have the Knight of Wands, so there is, for some of them, if you're, if you're resonating with the non-committal type, no third party going on, then this is them needing to grow, a decision to grow, work together here. Pretty quickly too, because I feel like for a lot of you, if this person doesn't show you that they can give to this connection like it deserves, I think you're just going to walk away, right? Like give up. Um, so there is that, there's a decision for them to grow. Now, if this is third party, they've only been able to just come at you maybe a little sexually here maybe a little flirty i mean maybe you know whatever it's just page of wands it's not too much still in and out right still not really working together um like they should here with you because there's a third energy right that's stopping forward movement okay the chariot six of swords so that's my read on that one guys <laughs> um so yeah again two messages take whichever one aligns with your situation here um okay well let's pull in the higher front really quick king of swords three of pentacles it came back the chariot i feel like for most of you this is going to be a commitment that they're already in they're thinking about taking action to end that okay just saying if it's not them if it's not third party then they're guarded to they were guarded they kept a guard up here with you you know really a guard uh up when it came to working with you to committing to this to giving more than just kind of flighty behavior here okay so if you're resonating with that and not third party then that would be that okay guys um all right let's pull on the five of cups really quick okay it's the empress in reverse it flew out in the reverse the devil justice okay well yeah you know i'm just i'm getting i'm getting the third energy here this is um you know, this is, this is some, somebody who they're dealing with that, uh, oh God. um, yeah, somebody that they're dealing with that's, you know, in a low vibrational empress over here. Okay. Empress in the reverse, manipulative, shady. I, you know, you don't want to deal with it. <laughs> the devil at the bottom. I'm just going to say justice. Okay. I feel like this person heavily, their heart space already knows. They know they want to leave the situation. Um, that's it. Now I can read it the other way, but I, I'm really the majority of you guys, it's going to be third party that they need to let go. Okay. Toxic third party at that. Um, if you are, if you were resonating that your person's just non-committal here. Yeah. They feel like they've lost you here. Okay. You're gone. They're obsessing about how to bring balance back here to get their nine of cups. Okay. So they do know that they have to grow and that would be what they would have to do to come in to X out this devil energy that they brought to the table here okay all right pile two i'm gonna leave that here i do hope this resonated two specific messages here so um you guys will definitely have to let me know if you resonated with either one um if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button below and if you're interested in diving into your own situations i have info for personals below as well all right guys talk to you in the next one bye pile two three welcome to your reading today we're going to take a look and find out what's really in your person's heart for you uh do keep in mind going to be general so if the first couple cards come out and they're not resonating with your situation feel free to check another pile all right let's go Maybe the eight of pentacles okay knight of wands <clears throat> three of swords okay well it does feel like someone here is actually working on themselves okay at the heart space so they could be working on heart chakra i feel like with the three of swords at the hidden energy and we see the green around it it's almost like this person like broke their own heart by possibly acting like a knight of wands here and not putting in the work so it's almost like this person's having some kind of um like their hearts like cracking open here and they're starting to see maybe the air of their ways here and they're really wanting to put in some work here for the eight of pentacles coming out first um for some of you guys could work with this person you know eight of pentacles being the first card out could indicate that for some of you um let's keep going what's wrong with the knight of wands eight of cups okay well for some of you you definitely walked away from this person because of their behaviors here um again if that's the case they know that they caused you pain and they themselves are also in a lot of pain for for this connection okay if that's the case somebody walked away here so um let's see what's wrong with the eight of pentacles <clears throat> queen of pentacles yeah listen pile three this person understands your value they know that they short-sighted you in the past by their behavior it looks like um wishy-washy in and out you know that type of knight of wands stuff that 
can just cause a person to get sick of it and walk away, right? Especially a queen of pentacles who doesn't put up with that. <laughs> um, there's a need for this person and from their heart space. Truly, they want to work on this now. Okay. They're feeling it. They're experiencing the pain of the loss of you. Okay. So, you know, whether they walked away or you did, it doesn't matter. I get at the core of this in their heart. They're feeling it. Okay. They're feeling the loss of, of this connection. Um, okay. Well, eight of pentacles. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to pull out three of swords really quick. Nine of cups. Yeah. You were this person's wish fulfillment. They also see that they walked away from it or you did. So if you walked away towards your own personal nine of cups, it's, it's really causing a lot of pain in this person's heart right now. Okay. Probably necessary to you in order for them to grow and see the error of their ways. I, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah. Wish fulfillment though. Either way, you know, five of swords at the bottom, two of pentacles. <clears throat> it does feel like, uh, this person sabotaged something here with you. They sabotaged their true nine of cups and now they're feeling it. You know, they had a decision here with the two of pentacles, seven of cups could have, could have made you feel like an option here in the past. Okay. Six of cups, ace of cups, right. That's what I thought. So, so it does look like for a lot of you, you are in little to no contact with this person. And I'm going to tell you, they think about you. They know where their ace of cups is and it's six of cups. Somebody from the past, right? Nostalgic thinking, reminiscing, which I thought they were, um, you know, just from the initial read of this. So yeah, there's a lot of love. So if they didn't realize that before they see it now. Okay. Definitely. Um, okay. Eight of pentacles. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, they're slowly but surely moving your way. It's very strategic. It's very thought out. They really want to show you that, that they've learned something from this Three of Swords. Okay, so, you know, whatever they did here in the past, they want to prove to you that they can start to match you on your level now. So if this person, it does look like they've kind of done the work. This is coming from the heart space. So again, you know, you may not see it in the 3D, but, you know, coming from where it matters it this person sees what they need to do now i don't know knight of wands let's see yeah two of cups it's almost like this person ruined a soul connection and we already saw the two of cups coming out here with the clarifying cards that we did for the three of swords so they do know they know that there is a soul connection here and they they screwed it up i mean it's what it looks like here so this person is working on trying to come back around show you that they've grown present you with more of a stop a solid you know, new beginning. I mean, ideally they see that six of cups, ace of cups. So a new beginning in love with somebody from their past. That's what it's looking like here. Um, it's almost like you guys made a player fall in love and they didn't, maybe for some of them, they didn't realize it until you walked away. Okay. All right. Three swords, five pinnacles. Wow. Look, this person's going through it again. They almost had to, this person almost had to feel the loss of you, you know, and whatever, fashion that is when it comes to your own situation, you know, um, but it's kept them out on the cold. It's again, I feel like it's cracked. It's cracked this person open to feelings that they weren't used to feeling before, or at least not showing or admitting that they had, you know, it's almost like you guys changed this person. Like you just changed this person almost from the inside out. I don't know. You made them want to grow. So know what you guys did pile three but it looks like it's working here um five of pentacles let's see knight of wands i you know <laughs> seven of cups six of cups yeah for a lot of you they just made you feel like an option and you were never that you know you're you're a soulmate you're somebody that they had a lot of feelings for whether they told you or not you know yeah for a lot of you you walked away you just had enough of it Oh, now this person feels it. Yeah. Six of cups, ace of cups again. It's back. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know how else to read it. It's tying us back to the, the knight of wands over here. Well, we know you walked away, right? I mean, okay. Well, eight of cups, seven of wands. Yeah. Um, this person was guarded. They were closed off and you pile three for a lot of you, you had enough and you, you match them. And so you said, fine, you're going to continue to be guarded and act like this in and out wishy-washy about this connection. I'm out. Right. So for a lot of you, you did that. Um, 
for others of you, this is them really wanting to stop you before you leave, like fighting for this, standing up, like, don't go, you know, I can change. I am changing. I am working on myself. So either way, there's a couple layers there with that seven of wands and the eight of cups. So they, they do want to stop you from walking away completely. I am going to tell you that, uh, for some of you, it's going to take a really, I don't know, act of God for you to believe this person again, because for some of you, the past behavior was just so hurtful that it's hard to imagine that this person could actually do the work, right? And be somebody different. I think they're going to have to prove it to you. And I think they know that. Okay. So queen of pentacles, let's see. Page of pentacles. Yeah. Listen, for a lot of you, you're not speaking to this person. You've gone silent. You've walked away. You put your guard up here. It was needed for this person to wake up to see that they're about to lose something amazing here if they don't grow up here and get real, right? Um, it feels like they just took this connection for granted. And now this person has had, again, because it, the lack of your energy here has made them sit and reflect and feel, feel this, feel your loss. And they've done it. I mean, they have. This is all heart space energy. They don't know what to say to you, pile three. They really don't. They're nervous. Again, they do put you on the pedestal and they do see that you're doing your own thing. They know they've got to prove it here. You see how it goes from the page to the night. Okay. They want to show you, and it may be small actions. You know, I feel like this person knows that you see through their BS. So it may take small baby steps towards this and showing you that they that they can, that they can meet you on your level now. Right. Um, so there's a little bit of that. Okay. Well, let's pull in the seven of wands. It just feels like to you, a lot of you are just doing your own thing. You're staying in your lane and it, and it's really worked. So keep doing that pile three. I'm just going to say, um, it's forcing this person to actually grow. Okay. All right. Seven of wands, nine of wands. Yep. Mm, three of swords, the hermit. <laughs> You know, they've tried to deny this. They've tried to deny that they're not bothered by you guys walking away. So for a lot of them in 3D, they've acted like everything's fine. They're going on. They don't miss you. They're fine still being the Knight of Wands. And that's not true. Okay. It's been going on for too long where they've been in this Three of Swords. Okay. They've been in this Three of Swords with the Hermit card. A lot of self-reflecting. This is exactly what I said. Wow. The Hierophant behind that and the Six of Wands. <clears throat> If this person did not see commitment before pile three, I'm going to say they've done a lot of self-reflection because of whatever this is, this pain that they're going through secretly. Um, and they, they see it now. They see a victory here after a long battle of a long-term commitment here with you. Again, I would think this person is going to try to prove it to you that they, that they've changed. So, you know, I don't know how much longer until they get out of their head and actually come in. It feels like this person is actively working on this right now. Um, Self-growth, self-mastery, trying to meet you at your level here, which they know that you're, I mean, they're going to have to do if they want you to not walk away, right? So eight of cups, queen of swords. Yep. You guys listen, page of pentacles, five of pentacles. You guys like put up your boundaries and walked the F away from this person. And now it's made them feel like the page and the five of pentacles. <laughs> Again, guys, I'm going to say, I think this was the best decision some of you could have made for this person. I mean, for yourself too, but for them to actually grow, to not have access to you, to not, um, still get their ego boosted by coming in and out and, you know, getting to be in your energy, but then going back to doing their selfish, whatever they want to do. Right. So kudos to you guys. I'm just going to say pile three. I like it. Okay. Um, you've actually made this person get in touch with their heart space, um, instead of just their ego and wand space. Okay. So good job. Um, all right, let's see. Is there anything else? Let's do the two of cups really quick. Justice. Yeah. 10 of wands, five of cups. This person knows that they need to restore the balance here with you. Okay. They know that they let a soulmate get away by their behaviors. 10 of wands, five of cups, five of wands. There, there's some heavy ish going on on their side right now in the heart. When they think of you, it's a burden. They're disappointed in themselves. They know that they, the longer that they wait to make amends here though, um, it's going to get a little tougher for them to, to actually prove to you. So I do feel like this person's being pushed right now from their heart space to, Go ahead and get the work in. Go ahead and start to show you at least that they're trying, right? Like I, I feel for a lot of you, 
you know, you may not take this person back immediately. Like you're going to want to see some proof, right? That they've, that they've actually changed. Okay. So I do think this person's aware of it and I think they're going to start trying to do this here. I mean, um, look at all the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> King of Wands. Ace of Swords, King Man. Okay. Well, look, I like this because, you know, it goes from the Knight to the King at least. So, you know, we've we've seen nothing here but Knights and Pages. So it does feel like this person... You could be dealing with a, a, a Fire Sign too. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, still super attracted to you though. So it's going to be hard for them. I'm going to say this Pile 3. They're highly attracted to you. So you know, it's hard for them to get real and dive into these emotions of this soulmate connection when they're feeling just super mm, lustful about you. But it feels like this person's going to do it. They're going to try to at least go to the King of Wands for you. So still, still going to be that. They're still going to have that, that desire and passion there for you. But they're trying to do this here to have this conversation because it looks like the Ace of Swords with the Hanged Man. Okay. There's a conversation that they need to have with you about you know, their actions, I think, for a lot of them. Keeping you stuck. Making you feel like an option here. Okay, when they knew all along that it was more than that. All right, Pile 3. Well, I feel like this is pretty specific. Um, love to hear from you guys if this was yours. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you guys want to dive deeper into your own situations, I have info for personals below as well. All right, Pile 3. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.